2,000 miles. It's the furthest I've ever been from home. A place I've always wanted to visit ever since I was in high school. Odd, eerie, creepy, yet cheery. Portland. I'm here. Boom by y'all. What kind of voodoo don't know? God, we about to eat though. And by the way, this is the Halloween episode. <laughs> What's up? I'm Ricky Don't. Yep, that's my name. Got my own show. Things are really shaping up. I've never been anywhere or done anything outside of Texas. Growing up, we just didn't have the money to travel. Now, I work for the second largest hotel chain in the world, and they're sending me across America to find the coolest things in cities big and small and share them with you. This is Ricky Don't Does. Museum for the weird, odd, and unsettling. And no, I'm not talking about the Cirque du Soleil Hall of Fame. This is Freaky But True Peculiarium. So we're about to go in here. I'm about to get in freak mode. Get with me. It's like I'm scared to look at it. I'm waiting for it to move. Uh! <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I ain't little, I won't lie. So Freaky But True Peculiarium. It's like a museum for the weird, kind of creepy, scary stuff. I don't really do stuff like this, so it's a little much for me. Oh man, I, I don't like to, I do not like being in the dark like this. I don't, I don't, no way I don't want to do this. Bro, f this, man. I don't like this at all. But I'm leaving, I can't, I can't do it. I don't like this. Man, I, 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 I don't want to. Oh, no. Dude, I, I, I hate it. I'm, sw I'm sweating. Boo! Okay, wind chimes, it means it's over, right? Man. I don't like that. What is that? Paul Bunyan shoe. Does it fit? It's a little roomy. Real sneaker has know about this bunion. This is the bunion one. The bunion fours. Be rare. This is this is like a metaphor for what's gonna happen to me at Pock Pock later. Is it like a crunch? Because uh, the texture is what's gonna get me. Uh, the crickets are more kind of gritty, crunchy. They're a little bit nutty tasting. Yeah, there is a little bit of grit to them. So we just wrapped up at a peculiarium and you know it's hard for me to pass up a snack, especially one this appetizing. You don't get much from the taste from them. It's like if you like nuts in your chocolate chip cookie, strictly for the texture, not for the nut flavor, you might well try crickets and get some get some more interesting protein in it. You want some of this my dude? Right, it's a blue star right there. Can we stop? All right, we pulled up the blue star donuts. And we got a we got a menu must have here. PB and J donut. Oh, it's donut time. What you got, Rick? We got a PB and J donut in the house. <laughs> oh god. This powder on top is peanut butter. Oh god. Oh. It's dripping out like blood. Look at this. That's Halloween. That's real Halloween stuff right there. I can't I, I can't eat this with one hand. Here, here, it's spicy. Something here. in there is spicy. <laughs> that was the bite. Just powdered peanut butter. I don't know how they, uh, which is a nice surprise, because usually with peanut butter and jelly stuff, the peanut butter way overpowers the jelly. PB&J Donut from Blue Star Donuts. Don't pass it up. Well, you made a mess. I'm telling me. cleared out these Portland allergies <laughs> so this, and they let you throw this kind of stuff on the ground here the plane ride it really like 
because I didn't have a window seat and I feel like it really messed with my whole perception of like going somewhere else because I just kind of watched Spider-Man Far From Home and then next thing I knew I was in Portland. So I feel like had I had a window seat, I probably would have had like a, like a much greater feeling of being far from home. Has it not quite sunk in? That you're it hasn't Texas? sunk in yet. It hasn't sunk in. Is it going to though? Probably when I leave. I'll be sad. <laughs> Hot take alert. I believe in ghosts, and I've also seen a ghost. Portland's been pretty spooky so far, and as a person who believes in ghosts, I can feel sort of the, the ghastly presence around this whole city. I get a lot of hate on my ghost beliefs, but I, I want to hear from y'all. How do y'all feel about ghosts? Let me hear your ghost interactions, your ghost stories. Deliver them in the comments. Ghost, 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 spooky time. <laughs> Okay, we are here at Pock Pock, and I've heard near God level hype about these wings. I've been dying to have them ever since I laid eyes on them. We're gonna see if the hype is real. They give you some nice eaten beans while you wait. They're little snack beans. Are those beans or peanuts? They look like beans. It's cool dried. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds like I wanna taste it. Are you guys filming video? We have a little mix up with the shooting in that amount of time I knocked all this out and uh, entered full on savage mode there aren't very many places that I know of with a menu like Pock Pock they have a vast amount of authentic Vietnamese dishes that all seemed very scrumptious but I cannot recommend their wings enough Pock Pock wings hit different Rimsky Corsa Coffee House a coffee shop haunted by two sisters that used to live here. That was weird. That went out on its own. I didn't laugh or anything that time. I'm definitely feeling a presence, but it could be this gas I have. So tell me about this haunted coffee house you got. Well, uh, my boss had wanted to start a cafe for years. She had no, that's name already picked because it was a coffee pun, Rimsky yeah. Corsa Coffee House, and she loves classical music. Okay. And Russian composer, Rimsky yeah. Korsakov. How did you find, how did they find out it was haunted? Uh, she had a dream, and this woman was showing her around. She didn't really see the face. She just started talking about, you know, her dream of having a cafe with live classical music. And so Betty like went upstairs and she knew what each room looked like before she walked in from her dream. Well, if you weren't cut from the same cloth, Betty said she saw a number like coming down the stairs. She said she felt like something touching the back of her hair and whispering it to her. And she said, was her birthday December 29th? And the lady's jaw dropped and her dentures practically hit the floor. And then she's off, scooped him back, put him back in her mouth and was like, oh my God, she wants you to have this house. What kind of like ghastly haunted encounters happened like today? Anything? Um, and books falling off the shelves? No, they're, they're less subtle than that. I've had people tell me they saw two girls standing behind me in the doorway to the attic. I feel something. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. It's a beautiful autumnal morning here in the Pacific Northwest. I'm about to go hit up Voodoo Donuts, see if I can mess up my day. Typically back home, I forego the gourmet donuts, stick to the traditional stuff. But since we're in Portland, I had to visit Voodoo. Usually there's a line wrapped around the block. Luckily, we didn't have to wait in one. I'm gonna give you my unbiased donut opinion whether these Voodoo Donuts are worth the wait. This is their signature Voodoo Doll Donut. I don't even know what those, what is, oh, it's jelly filled, chocolate covered with a pretzel knife. Spooky. Should I bite his arm? For this being a gourmet donut, they really stick to like the donut making tradition. This is the Maple Blazer Blunt right here. I think it lifted off this donut. Man, <laughs> this is good. This is the Oh Captain, My Captain donut. That's good texture. This is the old dirty bastard. Shouts out to the Woo. Honestly, that's too much 
We can't eat that in the morning. So Voodoo actually hooked us up with one of their newer offerings, cannoli. That's a lot to deal with. That cream is sweet. All right, so after taking a lot of bites out of a lot of donuts, I gotta say, I, approval rating is very high. I take my donut game pretty serious. I also really hate waiting in lines. But if I came to Portland and there was a, an hour long line, I'd wait. Then that makes Voodoo Donuts worth the wait. <laughs> What if I go in like this oyster and I'm like, hey, we're doing like a trick or treat thing to see if you, I, if you guys will give me one oyster. How's it going? Trick or treat. Trick or treat? Yeah. Oh, should I get an oyster? Oh, I'm gonna do an oyster. That's the best, that's a better treat. Oh, raw dog. All right, bless you. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Man. Cheers, bud. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Happy Halloween. And that's that's how you get a free oyster in October. How's it going? Hello, how are you? Oh, Trick or treat. We don't do that here. Sorry. You don't treat? No treat. Nope, no treat. Alright then. No Hey yo, that's it for Portland, aka PDX, aka Rip City, aka Rose City, aka the official nickname Spooky Town USA. We're out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment where you want me to go next. When in doubt, just don't. Well, I have to say, as far as leaving the state of Texas is concerned, Portland was a pretty awesome place to start. As a bit of a donut head myself, one of the best things about Portland is the donuts. Their donut game is next level, and it's actually unreal how many shops this city is able to support. The whole plane thing and being somewhere new was a little scary, but hey, this is the Halloween episode, right? I have to admit, I was sort of in awe most of the time I was there. Experiencing what fall is actually supposed to be like was something I didn't know I needed until this trip. Among other things like dapping up a Sasquatch, having my own personal photographer, and visiting the most terrifying bathroom of all time. This place is scary. All in all, the Rose City is a unique, extraordinary place that begs to have its hills hiked, its streets walked, foliage fond. Is Appleberry, is that a real thing? And every Portlandian, transplant, and visitor are always happy to oblige. A city filled with such particular beauty, you can't visit just once. Remember I have like a hike a leg up like I'm farting? Boo! Ricky don't. Uh, what, wait, wait, how do I, how am I start? Boo! That's it for me and Port, no, God. Don't look at me without glasses. I got exoskeleton in the back of my throat. Boo! That's it for me. God. Oh. All right. <laughs> boom, okay, and that's it for Portland. Yo, boom. <laughs> yeah. boom, boom. Boom, bayow, and that's it for <laughs> Blue Star Donuts in Port, Blue Star Donuts in Portland. Man, I'm so fed up. They're getting me, getting me. Slap up my MF comments like we about to eat though. Donald Trump is his penis. Very fitting I'm eating this dish tonight because really on this whole show, I'm just winging it. To book a room here or anywhere else in the country, visit oyohotels.com and download the app today.